Students from that school say they are going to join Stoneman Douglas students and thousands of others at this weekend's March for Our Lives rally in Washington. More than 800 sister marches are happen happening all around the country. The focus of the march is stronger gun control in the wake of the Stoneman Douglas shooting. Here in Florida, that has been a main topic of debate along with mental health care and the Baker Act. Some think the Baker Act should be expanded and some question whether it actually helps. Nightside reporter Liz Crawford takes a unique look at the Baker Act from the perspective of someone who went through the process. The number of people Baker acted in Florida continues to go up year after year. I spoke to a woman from Avon Park who was placed under the Baker Act after attempting suicide in August. I'm not a, a murderer. I'm not somebody that needs to be in jail and that's exactly how I felt. Feed me, house me, leave me there, and when you're done with me, throw me back out to society. Jessica Jackson told me she had a bad experience with the Baker Act. Now, she admits that she needed help, but she says she didn't get it. Jessica said it was basically just housing and meds, no counseling, no guidance or therapy. You could even stay in bed all day. It wasn't until she was released that she actually got the treatment she needed on her own. Now that's just one experience. Let me give you some background here. The Baker Act is a law in Florida that allows someone to be taken into custody and given a psychiatric exam against their will. So here's how it typically goes. Someone calls 911 during a crisis. Then police show up and they make the decision to Baker Act someone. The person is taken to a facility where they're supposed to get a physical exam within 24 hours, a psychiatric exam within 72 hours. Then from there, the person either decides to be discharged or seek treatment elsewhere. I think that the Baker Act is being abused. I think it's being abused by for-profit psychiatric hospitals. Baker Act numbers continue to rise. In the 2015-16 fiscal year, 194,000 people were placed under the Baker Act. Ten years prior, that number was roughly 119,000 people. The corruption within the mental health industry you know, because it is a business, people, let's be real, right, is uncovered and um, addressed and rectified. I don't think we'll ever really honestly come up with a solid solution to the problems that we're facing. Here's the point. The Baker Act is not a long-term solution. It's a short-term intervention. So when politicians mouth off about a tougher Baker Act, you might want to ask them to give an example of exactly what they mean, because the Baker Act we have here in Florida is nothing more than a band-aid. Accused Stoneman Douglas shooter Nicholas Cruz was never put into a mental health facility under the Baker Act, but we learned earlier this week that Stoneman Douglas's school resource officer suggested that that should happen. That was back in September of 2016. If Cruz had been committed to an institution, that might have made it harder for him to legally buy a gun.